In this video, I'm going to share with you a very accurate method for calculating roof rafter length. First of all, what is a rafter or what are rafters? Rafters are a series of structure pieces that extend from the ridge down to the eaves. Their main purpose is to support the roof deck and the roof covering. It becomes very difficult sometimes to know the length of your roofing sheets or the number of tiles you need when you don't know the length of your rafters. So before ordering for your roofing tiles, shingles or roofing sheets, you must know the length of your rafters. Before you learn how to calculate roof rafter length, make sure to understand these four common roofing terms. One, the rise, which is the vertical height of the roof from the tie beam to the top of the roof. Two, the run, which is the horizontal length from one side of the roof to the center of the house. Three, the pitch, which is the slope of your roof. This is measured in degrees. Four, the overhang, that is the section of the rafter that extends past your wall plate. There are two methods and are all easy as it sounds. They all give you the same answer. Method one is by calculating rafter length using your rise and your run. For this method, we have to use simple math. As you can see, this is the rise, the run, and the rafter length. These make up three sides of a right angle triangle. If we know these two lengths of the triangle, then we can use Pythagoras theorem to work out the length of the other. Assuming a run of 2.5 meters which is side A and a rise of 2.1 meters which is side B. Then using Pythagoras theorem formula and we put this on the calculator, this will be 2.5 meters squared plus 2.1 meters squared which will give us 3.26 meters as the length of our rafter. If you need, you can also add the overhang. Method 2 involves determining roof rafter length using the pitch and the run. In cases where you don't know the rise of your roof, you can use your roof pitch. With your roof pitch determined, it can be converted or rounded off to the nearest 5 and then converted to a slope factor. For ease, I've listed these factors here on screen. Once you know your slope factor, Simply multiply it by the run of your roof to get the length of your rafter. Using our previous figures, if the run is 2.5 meters and your roof pitch is 40 degrees, you get 2.5 meters multiplied by 1.3054, which will give us 3.26 meters. Similarly, you can add an overhang if needed. In summary, we now know that when we want to determine the roof rafter length, we can either use the rise and the run or the pitch and the run and it will give us the same answer. We got 3.26 meters using method 1. We also got 3.26 meters as the length of the rafter using method 2. That's the end of our today's video. Our recent video was about how to determine the number of timber pieces you need when making your rafters and your trusses. Watch the video, it's on the channel page. Kindly subscribe to watch more upcoming videos about construction. Thank you so much for watching.